Zen Server 7.6 is out and available, and I've updated numerous machines to it now. And knock on wood, I have a few more to do, but they all have went really well. That's that's the good news. Now, your mileage may vary. You may have a different configuration than some of the ones I tried. But even my home computer, which is just a, a generic motherboard, not enterprise level at all, it worked fine with it. And I've now updated to the latest version. And I did the in place, not the ISO upgrade. We're going to talk about that in a second. A couple neat features they did add. Now you do have uh, built in software RAID support that it comes with the 7.6. So if you're running it on a uh, system that doesn't have hardware RAID and you want to RAID the boot device, it's very easy to do because now uh, it's built right in. Well, it's not exactly built in. I would say they added it back to the repositories. One of the things that when Citrix was spinning this, uh, people got used to was things being removed. And what they've done is say, well, it's all running Linux on the base, why don't we just turn that feature on? So it's not like they reinvented RAID, they just turned on this MD, MADM features in uh, standard RAID. Now, let's talk about the upgrade process. A couple things first. Someone said they think that the XCPNG process or the way that they do things is different dramatically than Citrix or the release cycles faster. And I'm going to say they run in parity for the most part with the way Citrix releases. So a little bit of familiarity with the project is going to be Citrix and XCPNG are both companies creating their own spin on the Zen server source code. So you have the upstream source code and that gets contributed back to for features and then they compile it. Citrix attaches licenses when they compile it that don't enable features. Uh, the folks at XCPNG give it all away because it is 100% open source. Now, the way you update a Zen server is by downloading the ISO and you do an install over the top essentially. And then it creates a backup. So if everything went wrong, you can roll it back. The other way to do it and this is the way I did mine. This is a new thing from the XCPNG is yum. If you're not familiar with uh, yum update dash Y, if you're in the Red Hat world, that is similar to the Debian apt-get update. So you're updating the system from the command line by logging into it. So this is kind of convenient. They have a complete guide for how to do this, but the short of it is you have to get the key updated. And there's the check fingerprint for key, add the key to the system, you get the newest 7.6 repository. And once you add the 7.6 repository to your system from the command line, you can just do yum update, reboot, and now you're on 7.6. But this does not create a full backup of your system. So that could obviously create problems for you if the, for some reason it downloaded the repos and it went wrong then you could have a problem. That's just a fair warning. Um, you should have a backup of everything all the time. Just, I, I try to really uh, beat that into people all the time. Please have a backup because I had people mess me all the time that don't and I deal with a lot of customers that don't. And I deal with a lot of IT people who I lost everything. Can you help me on whatever server because I forgot to back up anything on it. Anyways, I won't rant too much about that, uh, but it did work and I've had no problems. It's pretty straightforward. This is the long version of, you know, if you wanna know everything that's going on there, the good news is this little short write-up that they have in their blog post, which I'll leave a link to below, worked perfectly fine on every server that I've tested on. Your mileage may vary, use at your own risk and have everything backed up, but I have not had any problems. Now, please note, I went from 7.5 to 7.6 right below before you just copy paste this into a prompt. If you are upgrading from XCP and G 7.4, please read the guide for extra steps. That's an important thing. Please, you know, RTFM here and make sure you understand which version you're coming from. But for me, I try to stay on the cutting edge. Um, that way I can keep testing things and making sure it works. Um, I just helped a person the other day that's still in the six series of the old Citrix and they're trying to decide which way they're going to do because it's kind of painful to go all the way from six to here. There's some more changes they have to make. Um, so if you can, and it, it may be better to stay on the cutting edge ones, there's been very few problems at all that I've had. There was, there's some bugs they talked about that have been quashed in air for live transfers under heavy load. They were able to produce a problem, um, but it wasn't consistent and it didn't to result in any disasters. It just failed to transfer a live VM um, once in a while under certain conditions. But I tell you, get in the forums, report the bugs. Uh, the team at XCPNG and their forums, they've been fast, they've been on it. And I've been starting to, because uh, I'm bad about this sometimes, participate more in the forums myself, uh, besides just making videos about how to do things. 
Um, that way I can help contribute back as well because this is a great project that I really am uh, been behind on and or been staying behind it, not behind. I'm I'm running 7.6, so I'm going to say I'm pretty current. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave links to all this so you can get upgrading with your system. And uh, if you've got questions, comments, leave them below or join the forums. If you have uh, some flaw you found in the system, you know, go check the forums. They're, everyone's very active and very helpful in there. 